Right then, Flavor Chasers, we're back again. Make sure you're nice and clean. If it is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Gonna need a board, gonna need a knife, a scotch bunny, you don't know the thing. This is curry mutton, a staple. Yeah, boy. Three cloves of garlic, you don't know. One honyan, three of them skelly and something there. Don't forget, like and subscribe, hit the bell so you get everything. Time, we're gonna get a bowl to dash that in. We're gonna season the meat first. Yeah, time first, boom, bang that in there. Next thing. Honyan, chop up this something, three, two, one, and we're back in the room. There we go, there's your honyan, bang that in your bowl as well. Mm, garlic, chopped, rough, rough chop. This is your seasoning blend, you see me? Yeah, man, just chop up your scotch bonnet nice and small, seeds and all, get rid of the stalk and that, you don't know that thing, blood. Chop that nice and small so it incorporates nicely. Every little piece of meat want a little something dip on it, you see it? Mm, nice. Now, skelly and them. Chop off the top bits. Dash them where. You can actually plant those. And then just roughly chop. Roughly chopper, chopper. Just check for all your sand and that. These were really clean. Old tight little. <laughs> Bang them in there. Make a massive mess. Because we're being silly, silly. Don't forget, flavor underscore station on Insta and Twitter. Get involved. We've got bare stuff on there. Yeah, we're active on there. Now, the mutton. This is one kilo. We're gonna wash this up. So grab yourself a bowl, a birth, a bowl, big thing. Now, one kilo of mutton. Yeah, boy, look at that. Mm. On the bone, little marrow bone in there for flavor. Nice, mature mutton. See it there? Straight off the leg that was. I watched it being done. Now, lemon juice and vinegar fit. Wash the meat. I mean, I want hear nothing but. Mm. Splashes and makes a mess. Vinegar, this acid you see will break down the bacteria. Cold water, and you're just gonna slush around and see the gunk will come out. Mm, you don't want that in your food. Oh, but the bacteria is killed by the heat and the it don't matter. You're gonna simmer this for three hours, but I don't business. You're not washing no flavor away. You, trust me. It's gotta be done. They've been doing it for centuries. My nan's been doing it and she's 92. She I got live long, see the gunk? Mm, nasty. Mission passed if you've done it, blood. <laughs> GTA thing. <laughs> Rinse that off. Now add your uh, seasoning blend and thing. Move the camera. Whoopsie. Curry powder, mild. Add that in there. You're looking about four or five tablespoons. Like you gotta coat it up good, but you don't want it grainy. So with that, all-purpose seasoning, just to coat the meat up. That's like onion powder, garlic powder, paprika in there, all them thing there, celery powder. Then bang your veg in there, and we're gonna mix this with a little splash of water, and we're gonna leave it to marinate. Preferably overnight, seven hours if you got it. You should never really go straight to the pan because you can taste the difference. Believe me, blood. I'm telling ya. Mm. Yeah, man. We're at 3K subs now. Old title, 3,132 of you. Got something special coming soon. Working on it at the minute. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Look on the mate. Yeah, man. We're not messing about, blood. That looks edible now. Imagine when that's all cooked down and tasty and beautiful and nice. Mmm, baby. Now we're going to cling film this. Bang it in the fridge or in your garage because it's been cold in the UK, blood. Minus two last night. <laughs> now all we have to do, my friends, is wait. The next day. That was midday, midday the next day, 24 hours later. We're coming with a red bell pepper, green bell pepper, three Irish potatoes, so them call. Using a little knife because I couldn't be bothered to look for the other one. We move. We're just going to chop them into big chunks. Now, what the potato will do, the sugars and the starch in the potato is going to make the gravy nice and thick. You don't need no thickening agents. You're going to cook it down. One pot cooking, two, three hours. Boom. Dice your peppers. Yeah, man. Peppers is my... Wait down, you dirty pig, you bombo. Now, peppers, that's my addition. Boom. See it there? Out the fridge. One day later. <laughs> that's my little chef addition, the peppers. It just gives a little sweetness, little colour, nice hot pan, big thing, yeah? you got to make sure you got a big surface area to seal off this meat. This step is extremely important because what you're doing is you're toasting off the spices first. 
You don't need no oil, no fat, because the animal meat has the fat in it, you see? No added fat, no added sugar. Proper people cooking this. And once it's all sealed off, we're gonna transfer it into a smaller pan to simmer. See how it's all starting to stick? and toast see when it's going dark there boom image of boiling water just to cover the meat and deglaze the pan deglazing is normally done with alcohol but in this instance boiling water and you just scratch off all them little bits of lovely flavor don't use a metal spoon though because you can poison yourself scratching off little metal fibers putting them in your body not good for your bomber yeah just wipe them uh, scratch them down yeah look at that in with your peppers and potatoes stir them in yeah boy, splash more water just to cover. Just make sure you got all them sticky bits off. Oh, look at it already. The smell is incredible. Now, more all purpose. You dip your finger in, dip a spoon in, the liquid is the flavor. Just remember it's gonna reduce and you don't want it too salty, so just be aware of that. You can always season at the end, but you can't take it wet. Now, once it started to like melt down a little bit like that, we're gonna transfer it to a smaller pan so it's all submerged and can simmer down slowly with the lid on. You're talking two hours, three hours, it matters. Depends where the meat of the animals come from, but all them thing there, but you know. Look and learn, baby, look and learn. Now, we press down and we wait. Two hours later. We proceed. Follow my lead and you will be in a world of lovely curry mutton. Now, see how it's all coming off the bone? It's just falling off. The gravy's thickened up. See there's something there? Oh my days, it's looking beautiful. Can we get a close up, baby? Yeah, man, look. See how the potato and the peppers have disintegrated a little bit? You see in the scotch bonnet there, there? Look, look, this is the texture you want. Look, tender and juicy. Now, if you like Jamaican food, I've got all sorts on the on the channel, you know. Just have a browse. We've got patties, we've got quick rice and peas, we've got curry goat too, ackee and saltfish. Look on this something. Add it with a little coconut rice. I like coconut rice. Episode on that soon. Soon forward. But look, lovely colour, lovely shine, no grain. Jeez. Thanks for watching, geezers. You can click the middle, subscribe, you absolute legend. Flavor chasers rule the planet. Find us on Insta. Say hello. Love you. Bye.